Hi there, I'm Bunna. And despite the embarrassing amount of time that I've spent playing Ark, there's still some things that I've never fully experienced. With the release of Ark Survival Ascended right around the corner, I figured this was the best time to do it. How many things are on the list? I have no idea. I'm just gonna make videos and bring you guys along for the ride. If that sounds like a good time, then buckle up as we dive into episode 2 of my Ark Bucket List. Okay, here we are. Aberration. The goal of this episode is to get pregnant by a Reaper Queen. It's something that I've always wanted to do, but I just never got around to doing it. Now, I do kind of understand the gist of it, and I kind of know what to do, uh, because I helped a buddy of mine do it on a few different occasions, but I never experienced it myself. And I feel like I haven't truly experienced this game until I've been raped by an alien. Jesus Christ! Now, normally you'd be leveling up on this map and acquiring all the gear and blueprints and taming creatures and breeding things and all that kind of stuff, but I'll be honest with you, I'm not going to do any of that shit. That's not what this series is about, and I've done plenty of other series on my channel where I've really put myself to the test and tried to achieve things that no other players have. But that's not what this is about. So, because of that, I have spawned myself in a Megalosaurus, I gave him a decent level, you know, he was 150 and then I force tamed him. He has a decent saddle attached to him. And then I spawned myself in some Ascendant Hazard Suit gear, which this stuff's pretty fucking OP, I'm not gonna lie to you. But I'm gonna be on the back of this guy anyway, so it really doesn't matter a ton. Uh, I gave myself a shotgun, which is decent, but not unheard of. I got myself an Ascendant Riot Shield. I've got some, like, parachutes and stuff like that, some med brews, just the basics that I think I'm gonna need, you know? Plus one backup set of hazard suit gear inside of him. Plus, I've got myself a Shinehorn, named Melon Loaf. Now, Bongo Drums here is probably gonna be the savior, though, because he's gonna be my saddle the entire time. I'm just gonna be on his back, doing things, and hopefully we can successfully pull this off. And this setup here, I think, is everything we're gonna need. I could be missing something, and if I am, this is just gonna all be a train wreck. But, uh, we're gonna give it a go! Alright, we got an Arthur Pluria, that could definitely mess our day up. Oh my god, Megalosaurus, fuck off, dude! Can a Megalosaurus pull me off of my Megalosaurus? That's the question. So I'm not entirely sure where we have to go, but I think it's that direction. I think. Wait a minute. So now that I'm thinking about it, I'm not entirely positive that it is where the rock drakes are. It might actually be a different location entirely. But we're gonna check this out first. We're gonna go this way. Alright, is there a Baryonyx down here that's gonna mess my day up? Eh, there are crabs though. That's never a good thing. Is that an alpha rat? Oh, okay, it was just a lighting glitch. What the fuck? Uh-huh. Okay. And let's not stick around. There, there's a whole lot of badness here. Alright, Ravager, we don't want that. We don't want the Orthopleurus spit. Let's just dodge all this bullshit. Hopefully this is the right direction. Alright, squeeze your butt cheeks, people. We're diving deeper. I don't think this is the way. This doesn't look right. None of this looks right. Yeah, this definitely wasn't the spot to land. Hopefully I can get out of here. Oh, that's lovely. There's a fucking earthquake. That makes things great. Oh, I'm so happy for that. Probably the best feature they ever put in Ark. The earthquakes are just so realistic and enjoyable. Alright, so I'm reasonably certain that I can't get out of here with this Megalosaurus, so, uh... You know, I'm gonna do some things off camera here real quick. Oh my god, I can't even cryopod him. Earthquake, please! Are you too good for your home? All right, it's like nothing ever happened. We are golden, so uh, I probably could just glide down, to be honest. That would save us a lot of walking. Plus, I could scope the place out. I'm still not entirely sure that this is where the Reapers are. I really can't remember, and I'm going off of memory, so please forgive me. I know the Rock Drakes are down there, like those I've got locked down pat. But the Reapers down this way, they might be this way. Because the Rock Drakes are back there but the, uh, the Reapers also might be this direction. I don't fucking know. I'm gonna go this way. I mean, this looks like a Reaper-ish area, you know? I, I can see some aliens residing in these fucking waters down here. I could definitely see them burrowed in the ground, waiting on their prey. I also should be aware of the Seekers. I just now thought of that. 
They might not be too happy with Melon Loaf. Alright, down here kind of looks promising. I'm, I'm gonna swoop into this area. Th th this looks like a sweet spot. Oh my god, I should... <laughs> wow. Whoo, that could have been bad. I mean, this kind of looks like the area that I was Reaper hunting with my buddy. Maybe. I don't fucking know. But let's maybe go this direction. Let's check over here. Let's see what all this is about. I'm just beginning to think this is all rock drakes. I don't think there's actually any Reapers in this location at all. Alright, so this could be bad because I've lost a lot of altitude. And uh, I really have no way of gaining said altitude back. So let's just hope that we can do things okay here on foot. Get our shotgun out and be ready. Alright, this is definitely a nasty area. There are rock drakes everywhere. And I don't remember that being the case when I was helping him before. A wise YouTuber would have looked this stuff up in advance, but I'm more about the journey. Right? I like the journey of things. And then when I fail miserably, then I look it up. Alright, there's a drake. I probably should just do the full frontal and kill this thing now, right? Please die. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay, nameless. Alright. Well, we're just going to ignore them, I think. Well, let's just ignore the nameless. I'm not confident we're in the right area at all. I don't think this is right. Ow! My ass! There is no chance I'm making it out of here, by the way. I, I seriously have no idea the landscape of this place down here. This is one of the most unfamiliar places in the game to me, so, uh, yeah. No chance we're getting out. Also, did I just do, like, a giant loop? I feel like I did a giant loop. Whoa, don't do that. Oh god, I lost a lot of height. Alright, this is bad. This is bad. We should run. Ah! Ah, stop it! Stop biting my ass! Huh? Huh? Please die. Okay. Woo! Woo! Oh my god! Ah! Uh, okay. Alright, so I think I need to scout the other area I was thinking of, because I'm pretty sure that that is where they're at. Ow! Would you fuck off and let me cheat already? Okay? I've got some fucking admin commands to run. Don't even get in my way. Five minutes later. Alright, so it turns out that the Reaper area is not down that hole at all. It's in the other location that I was thinking it might be in, but I wasn't positive, and I, I think this is it, because this kind of looks like it. So now we just need to dive in balls deep and hopefully find a Reaper. Alright, yeah, there's Seekers. Oh! Oh, is that one? I see Burrowing. Oh, that kind of looks like it. Okay, we might have actually lucked out, guys. Oh my god, oh my god! Get out of my face! Alright, yep, that is a Reaper. For sure. That is what it looks like, and that thing is going to rape me. Jesus Christ! Probably shouldn't even call them Reapers, we should just call them Rapers. Am I right up top? Alright, uh, we've got a Carno, we've got a fucking Ravager, I think? What is that? A Perlovia! Oh, that's great! That'll be great. Got some Seekers that we gotta fight off. Alright! This is gonna be a challenge. We've gotta wipe these things out. So, maybe actually from here, I'm just gonna range them. There we go. There we go. They're so low level, and yet so tanky. Might as well just deal with that fucking Carno, too. Out of my face. I don't need you in my life. I just want to be a mother, goddammit. All these some bitches are trying to stop me from being a mother. Alright, I think the rest we can probably deal with pretty quickly, so... I, I say we go for it. Well, let's just, let's get in here. Let's get in here. I gotta be in the moment, you know? Oh my god, I was not ready for that yet. Uh... Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Was not prepared for this yet, but we're fucking in it. I gotta turn my light pad on. There we go. So it turns out you can't spy glass from the back of a Megalosaurus, which is news to me. Uh, you also can't shotgun. Did not know that, but uh, we should be okay as long as this thing stops fucking ragdolling me. I guess I'll just watch and see when it's getting bloody. And that will kind of tell me when I have to dismount and pull out my shield. Did any of you guys know that you couldn't pull out a shotgun in the back of a Megalosaurus? Because I fucking didn't. 
Oh, was that, the, was that the death scream? I don't think that was the death scream. It doesn't look bloody enough yet. I don't even know what level this thing is, so I have no idea how many times I should be hitting it. It's getting a little bit bloody. It's, it's getting a little bit bloody. I just want your baby. Inject me with your baby. Okay. I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be soon. We just got to watch for the cues, you know? When, when it's looking a little frisky. Oh, like that. There we go. Okay, jump off, and then... Wh where's my shield? Okay. Uh-huh. Block and block and block. Block and block. Whistle passive. Oh my god, I'm getting thrown around like a fucking ragdoll. Come on, impregnate me. Come on. Come on, fuck me. Why won't you fuck me? Do I need to shotgun you? Ah! All right, shotgun. Uh-huh. Oh my god. This might not be good. Come on, buddy. Come on. Why won't you fuck me? Okay. I'm gonna shotgun him again. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. This isn't going at all according to plan. I feel like I should get back on bongo drums. <laughs> bongo drums, I need you, buddy. Okay, it just did the death scream again. I feel like that's the thing that I need to wait for, right? Isn't that what it looks like? Oh my god! It's like I'm on a goddamn trampoline. Oh man, this is not going according to plan at all. This isn't good at all. What level is this thing? Okay, it's shouting again. Come on, just fuck me. Just fuck me. Must not be ready yet. All right, we're just gonna go balls to the fucking wall because I am losing a lot of health on this thing. Why won't you inject me with your baby batter? Oh, did I kill it? Oh, mother fu- no! Okay, well that didn't go according to plan at all. So my chest piece took quite a bit of damage. Uh, the rest of my gear is fine. So I think I might just swap this out for this, maybe. There we go. Took some radiation there, but I'll be all right. Now, as for my Megalosaurus, uh, he's not in very good shape, so I need to heal him up real quick. Okay, I think I got him healed back up. Uh, like I said, this is not a survival series. This is for the sake of me getting pregnant. All right, there we go. Round two. Hopefully this one's a little smoother. It could be that I'm doing something wrong. That is highly probable. Maybe I'm not getting, like, the, the cue right or something, you know? Maybe I'm not doing it right. You know, I just now thought of this. Maybe I have to turn my light off whenever it does that. I, I might have to deactivate my light for it to impregnate me. I'm thinking that might have been a mechanic that I just forgot about. All right, it's starting to get pretty bloody. I think the next time it shouts, I'm going to deactivate my light, I'm going to jump off, and I'm going to block with the shield. Okay, there it is, shout. God damn, I need a light for this fucking nameless, though. That's so annoying. Why is it so annoying? All right, light off. I'm going to hop off and block. Oh, nameless, would you fuck off? Okay. It's shouting. I turned my light off. Would you fuck me, please? Nameless? Don't even. There's so much shit going on. Now I know why people build traps for these things. Okay, hop off, turn the light off, block with the shield. Am I doing it? Am I doing it? Come on, just fuck me. Oh my god! Uh, uh. Okay, it chased me off the cliff at least, so... Okay, it's, it's gotta be like... Oh, there's another one, motherfucker! Alright, I feel like we just need to run and, like, reset some of this shit. I don't know. How am I gonna do this? Yeah, this, this isn't looking so good. This isn't good at all. Oh my god. Oh, this isn't good. Jesus Christ, who does this for fun? None of this is fun! Alright, my only hope is to abandon the Megalosaurus and try to fucking get away. Ah! Ah! You can't outrun these things at all, can ya? <laughs> Alright, well, 
This was fun while it lasted, guys. This was great. Oh my god. Are we safe? No, of course not. Get out of here. Just give me a sec. I just gotta think. Give me a second. If we can separate the one that we had close to death, we might be able to get it to get us pregnant. I'm not sure. Fuck off, Nameless. I don't need you right now. Oh, there's my Megalosaurus. Oh, wait, it's fucking dead. Bongo drums, no. I say we just go full fucking frontal on this thing. Th this isn't really all that effective with so much shit around me. All right, hopefully this is the one that's close to death. Not actually sure. I don't think there's any chance of this actually working, though. Oh, there's another one. Okay, that's great. That's fucking great. Oh, my God, I love this game. Love it. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> okay, well, this was great. It's uh, my, my goat! My goat! All right, here, here we go, people. It's fine. I didn't want to get pregnant anyways. Those mother bitches over there! Okay, so we're basically pressing the reset button. Uh, off camera, I verified that what I'm doing is correct. I was just super unlucky with getting the animation. So once you get it below that 10% threshold, its eyes should glow, it should look all horny, and then it picks you up and impregnates you from there. But anyways, we got ourselves a new Shinehorn, we got ourselves a Ravager this time, and yeah, he might be level 15,000, but that's okay. He's not cheated in at all. The reason I wanted a Ravager, though, was so I can shoot my shotgun off the back of him, because I think that's going to be a lot better than attacking with the thing. Good god, there is a lot of badness down here, though. This is not a good scenario. Oh my god, there is so much stuff. Alright, fuck off. Oh my god, 2790! <laughs> Level 15,000 Ravagers, a little bit overpowered. You know what? Fuck it, I'm just gonna enjoy it. Now this is how we roll through Aberration. <laughs> my god, this is so satisfying. Now, where are all the Reapers? That's the question. Rock Drake, I don't got time for your shit. Out of my face. Arthur Plura? Ain't nobody got time for that! So see guys, taming a reaper is easy. You just need to get yourself a level 15,000 Ravager, that's all. So I think that we need to cross over this section and get to the other side. Uh, so I might cryopod this guy up and just glide over. Alright, let's hope that we can find a reaper over here somewhere. Oh! The Ravager is not doing all that much damage to this Spino for some reason. Oh, you know what? Maybe when I cryopotted him, it reset his damage or some shit. Oh, that's kind of unfortunate. Now things are more balanced. I don't like this. Oh, Reapers. Where are you, Reapers? I need one of you to impregnate me. Oh, a Reaper! Okay. All right. Oh, my God. There's a lot of stuff going on here now. Okay. All right. We're probably going to get thrown off the ledge at any second now. I don't even know what's happening. Alright, Carno's dead. All these nameless need to fuck off. How are more Arthropleuras showing up? It doesn't make any sense. Where are you coming from? Alright, let's get rid of this fucking Arthropleura once and for all. There we go. Alright, now time for the Reaper. Let's pull out the shotgun and just start blasting away. I'm gonna get it nice and bloody, and then I'm gonna hop off and start blocking with my shield, and hopefully it gets me pregnant. This is most certainly not the effective way to do this. I mean, for sure, build a trap. For the love of God, build a trap. Oh, off the ledge. Okay, all right. That's great. That's great. I love being down here. This is a nice spot. Oh, no, it's still got lots of health. All right, we're good. Okay, one thing I did fail to do was put my Ravager on passive. So as soon as I hop off this thing, I need to do that immediately. Oh, God damn it. I don't understand why this is so goddamn hard. I just want to get pregnant. Five minutes later. Oh, hey, it's the one that I was killing before. Dude, what the hell? Sweet. All right, let's spyglass it, actually. Let's see. It's it's a level 20. What are you at? 10,000 out of 45,000. All right, so let's, let's give you some shots. Let's maybe just do, like, three of these and then see where that puts you, because that is dealing a good bit. Down to 6,000. All right. One, two. Want to take a look at your eyes. Are your eyes pink yet? Nah, nah, you're not in the fucking mood. Not quite yet, anyways. 
So maybe just graze a claw, you know? I don't want to do full damage to you. Let's see, you're at 2474. All right. Oh, there's another one! Great! Where the fuck did you come from? All right, you know what? I, let's just kill this one, and then we'll just work on the other one. I, I think that's the best thing to do. This is way more of a task than I thought it was going to be. I spawned everything in, and it is still a complete pain in the ass. All right, it's at 15,000 health still, so we've got a little bit of chunking to do. 9,000. All right. Keep on going. What's it at? 3,800 health. That's, that's got to be getting close. I'm going to do, like, one more shot. One more. Are your eyes pink yet? Come on, girl. How are you not in the mood? If this doesn't turn you on, I don't know what does. Maybe it's because my light's on. Let's try turning the light off. Yes, there we go. Is that it? I don't think that's it. Its eyes aren't pink yet. And the nameless are coming back. I guess I'll try one more shot. Uh, I just want to graze you. How are you not fucking horny? Oh, I'm in the fucking element. Oh my god, my Ravager's gonna die. Ah! All right, it's at 1600 health. That has to be below 10%. So turn the light off. We're gonna hop off. It's gonna kill the Ravager, but that's okay, I think. Yeah, I see like a, I see like a glow around it. Yes. The Nameless will not leave me alone. I probably should throw my light pet down and turn it on, but come on. Come on, just fuck me already. There it goes, there it goes! Yes! Yes! It's happening! It's happening! Oh, oh shit! Alrighty then. So wait a second, am I still pregnant? Huh? It says I have an offspring. D does that mean that I'm, I'm pregnant? Well, I got a baby belly? Not yet, but I might. Oh, I thought if you died, you lost a baby. Maybe you just lose the levels. I'm not entirely sure, but we may have inadvertently done it. So now I think we just play the waiting game until this thing's born. Uh, the problem is, I don't have a base down. And if I go in creative mode, it might get rid of this baby. I'm not entirely sure, and I don't want to risk it. Okay, so good news, I was able to run some admin commands without going in creative mode, and I just spawned myself in a bunch of stuff to survive. So I should be good. I got myself a new shotgun, I got some flak armor, I've got a tech canteen so I can stay cool. I think I'm okay. I'm also gonna put some sleeping bags down, because once I give birth to this thing, I'm pretty sure I die again, and then I need to, like, respawn and claim it. All right, well, as much as I would love to wait here for an hour and 14 minutes, I think I'm just going to speed up the in-game time until I'm ready to give birth. All right, well, as it turns out, speeding up the in-game time really doesn't speed it up a whole lot. So I'm still going to be here a while. My guy was rapidly dying of thirst, so I had to come down to where the water's at. That way I can keep him watered. I mean, I guess this won't be too bad. With the game sped up, it's only going to be like five minutes that we're waiting here. That's not too bad. Spino got in my face, but I took care of it. Oh, I actually just noticed it did give the offspring a plus two. So apparently you can die while pregnant and then re-level it back up. So dying must just reset the offspring. Five minutes later. All right, we're just about down to the final minute. Are we fat yet? Oh, I think we're fat. Oh, we're with child. I'm pretty sure that me giving birth is not going to be a pretty sight. This thing will destroy me. But hopefully I can just respawn, claim it, and we're going to call it mission success. Fuck you looking at? You want to be my midwife? All right, four seconds. Three, two, one. Huh? Oh, 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 shit. Hallelujah. All right, now we just spawn at the sleeping bags, but I'm not entirely sure which ones were the ones on the beach. Let's try this one. I can hear the hooves of a sheep, so I think this is correct. Okay, it is. Where's the baby? Where is it? Oh, there it is! Baby? It was here a second ago, right? Where's it at? Got it! Ha ha! Paul! You little bastard! You almost got away. Come on, come on, get back on shore. Get back on shore. Let's go. The last thing I need is for you to fucking drown right now. Why are you still hitting me? 
Okay, so these things are apparently just violent all the time until they get a little older, so, huh. I guess in some way I did know that because we always did put them inside of a pen. That makes sense now. I thought it was so they just didn't scurry around, but it must have been because this is what happens. Alright, well I don't know about you guys, but I'm chalking that up as a mission success. We fucking did it! Granted, it was a little bit rocky, but uh, the end result is really all that matters. So uh, as long as you've got a Ravager that's like level 15,000, and you don't mind losing it, then you two can have a Reaper! Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna make a guide on this anytime soon. <laughs> Just go watch someone else's guide. I'm sure they explain it a whole lot better. Okay, well now that we can officially call ourselves a mother, I think that about wraps up episode 2 of our bucket list. Thank you guys so much for watching! If you enjoyed, then please be sure to leave me a like down below, subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you can stay up to date on all of my latest content, join the Discord for a community of like-minded wooden creatures, and please keep leaving me comments because they've worn my little bun heart. A special thank you goes out to all the bunnits that support me on Patreon. You guys are amazing. Thank you again so much for tuning in, and I will see you all in the next episode. Oh, <laughs>